I know it's been a while since I talked about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro, but now we have a more official version of TWRP available for the device. So I wanted to do a tutorial to show you how to install TWRP as the custom recovery on the Redmi Note 6. Now to do this in its current state, this may change in the future, and if it does, then I will make note of it on my website, and you'll see a link to this full tutorial down in the video description that will lead you directly to my website that will walk you through this entire process from beginning to end, just so that you know that it works just so that you can have direct links to the downloads because you're going to need to download a couple of files and just in case an actual official version of TWRP gets released since this current version does not support the decryption of the data partition it's going to wipe your device so be aware of that and like I said before we begin we're gonna to need to download the TWRP image file and a DM Verity force encrypt disable zip file both of which will be linked on my website So to start, we're going to go ahead and power off the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro. And then we're going to boot the device up into fast boot mode. And again, if you're not familiar with how to do this or any of the other steps involved in this tutorial, again, go to my website is I will have full step-by-step -step instructions laid out for everybody. And once we are in fast boot mode, we can go ahead and plug our USB cable to the device. Now we need to turn, turn our attention to the computer because we need to flash, AKA install the TWRP image file to the Redmi Note 6 Pro via either Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell. Once you have downloaded the TWRP image file from my website, you're going to need to move or copy that file into the same directory as your Fastboot and ADB files. And then we're going to type out the command fastboot space flash space recovery space twrp.img. And then from here we're going to just press enter. You can see that it sent this TWRP image file to the recovery uh, partition and then it wrote that TWRP dot image file over our current recovery partition that is why this will what we wanted to do we want to install TWRP on top of our current recovery which gives us a custom recovery so after we have entered that first command, we are going to type out the command fastboot space boot space twrp.img. Again, this is all in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools are, which will include the twrp image file that we download from the website. And now I'm just going to change focus back to the Redmi Note 6 Pro so that you can see the transition 
from fast boot mode into the TWRP, as soon as we press enter after entering this command. Just as I mentioned, we are still in fast boot mode. We are going to press enter on the keyboard after typing out the fast boot space boot space twrp.img file or command. Again, this can all be copied and pasted from my website. Press enter. Now it's going to, like I said, it's going to reboot the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro. And it's going to boot us right into TWRP. As I mentioned, this current version of TWRP does not support encryption. So we are going, have, going to have to format data that's going to wipe out all of the information we have on our device. So from here, we need to tap on cancel. And we can just swipe the white arrows to the right. And now we are at the TWRP main menu. So once we are at the TWRP main menu, just to show you whenever I tap the mount op button, there is no data partition for us to mount. So instead we need to go make sure we are at the main menu, tap on wipe, tap format data, and tap YES, and then press the blue check mark. It's going to format data, it should only take a few seconds. Let me go ahead and press the home button. And now we are going to reboot from TWRP back into recovery mode. So we're just going to tap on reboot and then tap on recovery. You can choose to install the TWRP app if you want. I do not wish to do so. And this is going to take us back into the TWRP install. Again, we're going to swipe the white arrows to the right to allow modifications. And now we are back at the TWRP main menu, except this time we have a data partition mounted that we can access from our computer. Since we have data partition that is able to be mounted, that means you can copy or move a file from our computer to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 while we are in TWRP. As you can see, we are still have our, our USB cable connect connected. And what I just did is I copied over the disabled DM Verity and disable force encrypt zip file to the device. Once that's done, we're going to tap on install. Now I only copy, I copied the file to the only one folder that we have, which is TWRP. And we're just going to select this disable DM Verity zip file. Then we can swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the installation. What this is going what this is doing is it is currently patching our current system that will allow us to keep TWRP installed. Because if we do not do this, when we reboot and let um, MIUI set everything back up, then TWRP is going to be gone. Instead, it's going to be replaced with the default recovery 
for or from Xiaomi. So once we have this uh, patched up, all we have to do is press the reboot system button to reboot the system. Again, I'm going to tell it to not install that TWRP application. But again, that is completely up to you. And once that's done, really we can just go ahead and unplug this USB cable. The only reason why we kept it plugged in is so that we could copy that zip file over to it after we had rebooted while we are in while we were in TWRP. And since we have done basically a factory reset on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 6, this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal. Not only does Android have to set things back up, but Xiaomi has to get certain parts of MIUI set back up as well. So really we just want to be patient here. Wait two, three, maybe even four minutes. And then we're, we are going to be taken back to the standard MIUI activation screen for Android. Let's see, we are at our activation screen. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set everything back up and get us to the home screen so that you can see everything works. And then I'm going to show you that TWRP has remained installed even though we have booted back up into MIUI. So as you can see we have completed the MIUI setup process. This is the default screen default default home screen for MIUI on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro and everything works just as you would expect it to. However, I want to take this just a little step further. I want to power the device down and boot us into recovery mode just so that you can see that TWRP has stayed installed instead of reverting back to the Xiaomi recovery like that normally happens whenever you go through this process and that is all thanks to the zip file that we flashed so we're just going to power down the device we're gonna boot up into recovery mode Again, if you're not familiar with how to do this, follow the step-by-step -step instructions on my website. Again, you can follow along with me. And there we have it. We are we have a fully installed TWRP. We have data mounted. We can browse through. the SD card. So data has been mounted. TWRP is permanently installed. And that is how to install TWRP on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro.
which if the company ever ins releases any other variants of the Redmi Note 6 Pro, the process will be the same. The only thing that will be different is the twrp.image file that you will download that matches your specific device.